Good morning, beautiful students. How are you today? Thank you for stopping by and taking a look at this course. If you are a brand new student, welcome. It's so good to have you. And if you are a returning student, ah, welcome back. It's so good to see you. So let's go over what this course is. Now this is level two or master class two, but I like to call it level two of the Emotional Intelligence Response Practitioner Master Class, level two. Now we're getting into a whole lot more stuff more stuff. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what is going to be taught in this course because the first course was juicy enough, but there's just so much more. And this course is completely derived by student questions on what they wanted to learn about emotional intelligence in different areas and topics. We're going to talk about how to set intelligent boundaries. And this is so important, especially, well, it's important for everybody. It's especially important when you're empathic. The other one is how to be emotionally intelligent and know when you need to shed toxic people and toxic circumstances or places even and while doing that not feel isolated another question was how to have emotional intelligence when you're navigating between worlds now for some people the question could be navigating between worlds meaning you know the spirit realm and and where we're at now because we have a lot of spiritual people that are really in both realms. If you're here and you're not into all of that stuff, this could be just about for you how to navigate the worlds you're living in, right? Because you might have the personal life, which you consider your one of your worlds, and maybe navigating your work as another world, and maybe sometimes they clash. So I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide how to implement that information. How to have emotional intelligence and to realize when your tricks are no longer working to sustain a healthy life and what to do about it. One of the questions was how to navigate romantic relationships when you have bipolar disorder or mental health issues. Now I went even broader than that, which is not, not just applying it to romantic issues, but really how to apply it to all relationships when you're suffering with mental illnesses or bipolar disorder and so on. This is really good for every situation and what every person goes through and has emphasis on the mental health aspect. Another question was how to have emotional intelligence and know how to navigate and help others with depression. But I don't just talk about you helping others. I also talk about you helping yourself because if you've been my student, you know that this, a lot of this comes down to you taking it in and learning it for yourself. So then you can pass it on. This one is so important. Someone asked me, how can I stay positive while also having a disability? And so I go into research and, and study and personal experiences of people that I know and what they're doing. And this also applies to really everybody, but it has an emphasis on how to do it as someone with a disability who has very specific needs and very specific circumstances that could get in the way of being happy while also having a disability. So that is a really great lecture. Another one was how do I have self-discipline and how to be emotional intelligent and understand their own level of self-discipline and how to have discipline to begin with. And a great one was emotional intelligence on how to recognize when they are triggered by trauma and how to recognize what their trauma is and how to move past that, how to move past that dissonance that they have or that disharmony. As part of all of my courses, you're also going to have access to the POBA recommended reading list and library as well as the resource center. So that's a perk of POBA. If you are a therapist or a practitioner or someone who is working in the healing industry and works with other people, you will have access to the POBA discount for the International Association of Therapists. So you can see that at the very end in the resources. So this is the level two masterclass in a nutshell. If any of this has sounded intriguing to you, if you are a healer, this is great information that you need to know on any type of practice, whether you're doing body work or whether you are a counselor, a therapist, a psychotherapist, someone who engages in talk therapy, a minister of peace, 
anyone who deals with people who are dealing with life issues and you are verbally talking to them, this class is going to be so important because it's really going to unpack so many different things that everybody really needs to know who is working with other people. And as I always state, the first thing that you always do in any of my classes is apply it to yourself. Once you apply it to yourself, you are going to be able to recognize things in others and be able to help them, not only because you know this information and you have gained this wisdom, but because of gaining the wisdom through self-application, you now are so much more empathetic and compassionate to the other person that you're sitting in front of and you'll be able to assist them because you yourself have gone through this course and you have learned everything you need to learn about it. Well, if this sounded really good to you, now all you gotta do is click that link below and put it in your cart and I will see you in class. Bye. Mwah.